Hello everyone, this is Sunilax again. Uh, in my today's live stream, I decided to make another one today because because it's early in the morning here in Hungary, and I bet it's it's probably better for some people, uh, for example, in California or something. Because I know that there is many many uh, Juno Beats fans there, but maybe even better for some of the European guys as well. Actually, I have about one or one and a half hour today for this. Uh, I'm still working on the track, but I started last year. Uh, it's actually shaping pretty nicely. I started to work on the arrangement yesterday and I think I'm going to continue this way. I need some details yet and yeah, let's start it, we'll see.
Good morning to you too. One four steps. Thanks. How are you today? Where are you from? How do you like the track so far? Yeah, the So Long EP is, uh, is the next one on Juna Beats. It's coming out pretty soon, I guess. Maybe, maybe next month. I'm glad you like it. Actually, I think it so sounds really good. Mixing-wise, at least. And it's gonna come out with another track um which is which is brand new i didn't play it on on 250 so it's gonna be a two track ep i think the guy's gonna start to play in abgt pretty soon maybe next week or something Ah, uh, you love the melody of the so long track or this one? But thank you though. Oh, <laughs> 
yeah usually the uh, the release process is much longer but you know many many brand new tracks um, has been debuted on 250 so so a lot of people heard brand new tracks and I think they can kind of need to release it as soon as possible because you know you can't just let people wait ages for a track they heard it on a big event like 250 so I thought I think it's a bit different now than usually but yeah usually it takes takes months easily to get something released on Anjuna beats must be really well organized because all of the guys played brand new tracks Oliver Smith Seven Lions Jason Ross Jenix and me yeah yeah exactly <laughs> What, what kind of album you mean? My artist album? I still didn't start to work on my artist album, but I will definitely start it in the next couple of months. I actually want to finish it this year. Just uh, it's a really it's, it's actually a big big work, and you you need to have like at least a month or two or maybe three. And you have enough time to sit in the studio constantly and focus on tracks. And I think I can I can manage it this year somehow. Or I just want it. I just want it so bad. So I will definitely manage it. No, I haven't shared this stream today because I'm so sleepy yet. I just woke up. 
two hours ago and still but I, I thought it would be a good idea to stream something I, I'm gonna upload to YouTube anyways so Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ, this is the old groove. So weird. This is the new one. It's much more badass, isn't it? It's just more groovy and so unique with these weird sounds. I guess. Actually, I don't work on any collabs. Um, I'm working on vocal tracks. I actually have another track, which is pretty much finished. I need to, I need just to make a new mix down to mix it uh, properly because it sounds pretty weak yet. But there is a really good vocal on it from a from a girl called Ashley. And she's amazing. She's a voice is beautiful and, and her lyrics are just amazing. So pretty much finished a, a, a vocal collab with, with her. It's really exciting actually. It's really, I, I never actually made vocal tracks before everything's a lie. And it was a really great experience because for me the vocal is actually is like an instrument and I, I hear many many vocal tracks where I feel like there is a really good lyrics and a really interesting voice of the singer but the vocal melody doesn't give don't gives give anything special to the whole to the whole song like melody wise like it just doesn't work so well with the with the chords, it's just not interesting enough melodically. So I think it's really important 
to me to find a, a, a singer who, who can really write a really interesting vocal melody as well. And yeah, it's so interesting. No, 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 not Ashley Tumberlin, but I love her voice and her tracks from, you know, from the previous era. She's amazing. But as I know, she probably stopped singing. I'm not sure.
Well, that's what I call a good feedback. It's pretty old school, like Sander Fandorish. Yeah, I think I'm pretty close to finish this track, this state. I mean, the the arrangement and the basic sounding. Um, maybe it's probably just, just just ready to for mixing and mastering now. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna listen to it with fresh ears. I'm going to focus on the musical parts and the the arrangement, the build ups, everything like that. I don't even care if it sounds weak, it's not strong enough, not punchy enough. I'm going to fix it in the mixing and mastering st state, definitely. Yeah, firstly, I need to send it to the Anjuna Beats guys, my A and R's. And first they they gonna say me something about the the live streams because maybe it's not a clever idea just to to show a, a whole track um which is gonna be released in engine a bit maybe they don't like the idea but uh, i still couldn't manage to to talk with them about this um and yeah, and we'll see if they, they will like the track or not. If they will like it, um, that's a good thing because they will probably sign it. But, but the feedback, I think they are pretty busy right now because of the, the many releases and the um, Above and Beyond album as well. But that's, yeah, that's... Usual, they are always busy. All right, let's listen to the track from start to finish.
What do you think, guys? How was it? I think it needs a melodic element here before the breakdown in the intro section.
I'm not sure about the Puma track. I told you a couple of live streams ago. It's it's uh, it's not enough strong as a as a remake. I think. Um, so I I will definitely work on it, but at its state, at its current state, it's just not gonna be released. It's it's sure. Hey Sounders, thanks for the kind words. I love Netherlands. Which city? Where are you from?
I don't even un don't understand myself sometimes. I have my own fucking sample collection. I made a bunch of sample libraries and for some reason sometimes I don't even use them. But now I know exactly that I have these kind of sounds what I'm actually looking for in my own collection. <laughs>
Um, yeah, but the thing is, even though if I, I would keep it low key, um, but come on, we are not low key, even if it's just one of you who are watching, it's not. I mean, I really appreciate it. Why I get what you mean, but it's since it's on the internet and theoretically everyone could watch it or listen to it it's just not exclusive anymore so it's um, I don't know I, I will talk with the own junior guys about these we'll see I think I'm gonna finish the live stream about now I, I I'm gonna listen to the whole thing again last time I have an ID uh, for the build up because I'm not really satisfied uh, with it uh, before the drop but I think that's, that's the last thing I will change in it and and then it's 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 ready for the mixing and mastering state yeah so I'm gonna listen to it again
almost almost ready but I'm going to make some experimenting with the build up before the drop uh, it I don't have any name for this yet so actually my plan is to to figure it out with you guys on one of the live streams just choose a, a cool name for this track but maybe next time I'm I need to leave now but thanks again for watching guys and I think I'm gonna continue it uh, next Monday probably <laughs> Twitch <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe some anagram of something like Twitch and something we'll figure it out but it's it's something all right guys have a great day you all and see you later bye